Hello and welcome to time series forecasting. In this video, I'm going to show you an algorithm that you can use to test the stationarity of any time series. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we are going to test whether a time series is uh, stationary or not. And obviously we can apply either the KPSS test or the augmented Dickey Fuller test to test for the presence or absence of the unit root uh, in a time series. And if uh, there is uh, no unit root in the time series, that is this series is stationary, our answer to this question will be whether our time series uh, has no unit root and the answer is yes. We conclude that uh, this series is uh, level stationary, that is this uh, series is integrated of uh, degree 0 and uh, we can go ahead and uh, apply the Arima model on uh, this series. Now if our augmented Dickey Fuller test or the KPSS test will tell us that uh, no this series uh, is not uh, stationary then we may need to take uh, the first difference of the series. So what we can do is uh, we can take the first difference of uh, this series by calculating yt prime which will be the difference uh, between yt and uh, yt minus 1. Now we ask the same question again whether this series yt prime has uh, no unit root or not. If uh, this series is uh, stationary now, then this series will be called integrated of order 1. That is, this uh, series is stationary at uh, the first difference. Then we can go ahead and apply a Rima model on uh, uh, this series. On the other hand, if our answer is uh, no, the series is uh, not still stationary, then we may need to take uh, the second difference of uh, this series. That is, we may need to calculate uh, yt double prime by calculating uh, the difference in uh, the difference series. So we're going to go ahead and calculate uh, the difference of uh, the different series. And then we're going to test whether this series yt double prime is uh, stationary or not. And uh, again, we can apply uh, ADF or KPSS test to test whether yt double prime is stationary or not and in majority of the cases uh, this series will be stationary and now this series will be called stationary of uh, order 2 or integrated of uh, order 2 and we can go ahead and apply the Arima model on uh, this uh, yt double prime series. So again the algorithm works uh, in a way that we test for the stationarity of uh, the series at level and then we keep on taking the difference of the series until uh, the series shows us uh, no observable patterns and the series is uh, stationary. We then apply Arima models on uh, the different uh, series accordingly. In the next video, I'm going to show you a comprehensive example of uh, using all the three tests that I described earlier and then I'm going to introduce you to two functions that will make your life much easier and will tell you how many differences are required to make a non-stationary series stationary. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.